Yo, what's going on? Viewers of Steps, viewers of me. Today we have what is possibly, I'm really hoping, the final grip sock sample. Now through this journey, I've opened it. I'm not going to look inside. I just had a little peek. I won't lie to you, I just had another one. They're looking all right. Through this journey, I've spent a lot of money on samples. I've gone through, I think, four or five different suppliers trying to find the best possible grip sock. There will be a video on that in the future taking you through every single grip sock sample that I've received. And it's so important that if you're creating a product or something, you need to make sure that your quality is top notch. There's no point releasing something that's subpar. And because my name is behind this, I don't wanna, I don't wanna release something like that. So a couple problems with the one that was in here. The sizing was a little bit off, the grips were too small, and I think that's it. So look, I'm gonna take them out now. Oh man, I'm a little bit nervous. So they look all right, that, that's what I can see so far. I've gone with a simpler design on the front. <sighs> okay, wow. Okay, the grip feels good. The grip feels good, I'm liking that. They're much bigger, so have a look at that. If we compare to last time, this is from the same supplier, so if we look at the grips here, these are tiny, much bigger, so these are going to provide more grip throughout the sock. Now, if I compare, the sizing, which is super important. Have a look, you can kind of just see on here, this one is a little bit bigger. Well, it should be a lot bigger because I changed it massively. Right, so the other thing that I have added with this, which I love about this sample, if you can see, it's probably easier if I show you on the white one. If you have a look through there, there's this breathable fabric in the sock. So it allows for, you know, whether it's sweat, heat, whatever, in that part of the sock. So it's just here and there. That's not even the right one. It's on this one. But we still got the exact same thing. It's in that front part. That's going to be a huge plus, not just for the benefit of the sock, but a great marketing point as well. Now I need to try them on. That's the important part. So again, this is the sort of thing I do with this product testing making sure that the product is quality. I'll be washing these, I'll be wearing them in a high performance situation so that I know they're what the customer wants. All right, so this, I feel, got them on. That's the view from the bottom. So they look absolutely sick. I love the pattern that's on there. And then in the back, we have the arrows that you can see. So looking good. I think the sizing is spot on. I think this is it. The other problem I've had with the grips is that I can peel them off. That was from another supplier and I went, well, you have the perfect sock, but your grips come off. So now I'm just picking away at these and what I'll do for the next hour or so, I'll just pick at them. Cause I, this is a sample, I don't care if I break it. Just to ensure that I get the quality there. You know what? I think this is the final sample. What I'll need to do is see what size this one is and then decide from there. I also forgot to show you the front. We got two arrows pointing down and it says steps facing towards you. Oh, it looks so sick. This is exciting. This is where I wanna be. There's good width. There's enough space up here that it's still a sock. Oh, I'm liking it, man. It's breathable. They're comfortable. They look damn cool. I, I reckon this is it. This is it. So I got a little bit more work to do to decide on this, but I'm gonna end this sort of vlog. I think the next video will go through every sample I've received and what was wrong with it, what I needed to improve, and take you guys through that sort of process as well, because I think that's really interesting. So that's gonna end it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.